Okay, guys, so we're going to do some synthetic division problems just so you guys can get a little refresher before the test. Um, so let's say I wanted to divide 3x to the third um, plus x squared minus 10x minus 8 by uh, x minus 2. So let's say I know that x minus 2 is a factor of this, okay? And I want to figure out if I factor this out of this, what am I left with, okay? So I'm going to do synthetic division. So I'm going to switch the sign of this. So it's going to be positive 2, okay? Then I'm going to take all of these coefficients and line them up right here. So 3, 1, negative 10, and negative 8, okay? Then bring down the 3. And now we get to the multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. So 2 times 3 is 6. We put it here. 1 plus 6 is 7. Good. 2 times 7 is 14. We put it here. Negative 10 plus 14 is negative, oh no, positive 4. Sorry. And then 2 times 4 is 8. And negative 8 plus positive 8 is 0. So remember, this is our remainder right here, and then we go back to figure out what these terms are. So this is my constant, my x term, and my x squared term, okay? So when I divide these two, I end up with 3x squared plus 7x plus 4. So if I'm going to rewrite this, after having factored out the x minus 2, I would end up with x minus 2, since I told you that was a factor, we were factoring that out of this numerator, times, and then... 3x squared plus 7x plus 4. And then, of course, over x minus 2. Okay? So then, like you know, these are going to divide out. We're going to have a hole at, at um, 2. And then um, if we want to find a limit, we can plug it in there. Okay? Now, let's try this one right here. What happens when we have kind of missing terms? Okay? So before, we had every term. There was a coefficient on every term because every term existed, but here I've got an x to the third and then just a constant and nothing in between, okay? So I'm going to show you what to do there. So again, we take the opposite of this, so positive 1, okay? Then we write all the coefficients, so 1. Now, what's the coefficient of the x squared term? It's actually 0, because it doesn't exist. So 0, and then what's the coefficient of the x term? Well, that doesn't exist either, so we have to put a placeholder there. And then we have our constant of negative 1. Okay, so again, we are going to bring this down and then it's going to be multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. So 1 times 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So again, remainder, constant, x term, x squared term. Okay, and then if we had more, like if this were longer, we had more, if we were doing like x to the fifth. Uh, minus 1. We'd have more here, okay? So then again, this leaves us with x squared plus x plus 1 with a remainder of 0. So again, if we were going to rewrite this, we'd end up with x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1 divided by x minus 1, okay? So that's how we'd rewrite that. So the most important thing I just need you to remember is we take the coefficients, we put them here, we take the opposite of this and put it here. We multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add until we get to the end. And then, if you're missing terms, you need a placeholder of zero. Okay? So there you go.